Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to give you an introduction to the audio model inside Tomophone. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Let me start first of all um, showing to you what two samples that I'm going to use uh, inside audio model sounds like. So this first piano note. Nice and simple. And then what I have done, I also recorded something from Red Strike, which I definitely recommend. Okay, perfect. Let's go inside Tomophone. Perfect. So what I need to do, first of all, is to go as close as possible to an initialized preset. So I go under Experimental here, under Category, and I select default settings. Okay, perfect. What it says here, Editor, click on Editor. Now, inside here, we can import audio. So click on what it says, Import Audio. And then let's scroll and let's uh, find that piano note. Almost there. Okay, there it is. Now, it gives me a set of options in terms of what uh, I'd like to do in terms of importing that uh, audio and use it. Now, um, I'm not going to go through them, all of them, uh, right now, but I'm going to select new manual because I believe if you understand how the new manual works and also how the merge manual works, then you can find it. You can find your way around the others very easily. Select new manual and select OK. Now, what you see up on the screen is the um, source audio. OK, you see the wave table um, in the middle and then the audio model uh, at the bottom. And at the moment, if you press on any keys, you don't hear anything. Now, if you go to the uh, source audio, you can click and drag and you can select a part of that source audio. And it also recognizes up here what is the most appropriate pitch or frequency for uh, what uh, um, it has been selected in terms of what you imported as an audio. So you can click, drag and drop. And you, as you can see up here, you can decide where to insert it. And then what it does is just insert that uh, um, as you would expect, as there is nothing else, and it will insert that particular part for um, just the, all the different notes inside the audio model. That yellow dot is what you see um, playing through the uh, effectively way table. You click on here, and in the middle will show you the way table. The other thing you can do is you can enable ear preview, click on it, and then you can click here anywhere on the audio module to play. Like so. Now, click up here again where it says source audio to remove the selection. Now, let's click undo to go back to where uh, we were before at the beginning. Now, if you click on the audio tools, you can, you can select select all. In that case, it will select the entire source audio. Then if you click again on audio tools, um, you can select the second option, which says Send to Pitch Zone. And in that case, it will take that entire um, audio and map it against the entire, uh, all the different pitches and inside that audio model. As you can see, at the very bottom, you have um, uh, whiter uh, colors, which, um, sim um, which means that you have a higher intensity, which corresponds to the beginning here of... Uh, that audio. And as you move up, you move horizontally here on the audio. Okay. So at the bottom here on the right hand side, sorry, at the right hand side of uh, the audio here, where it is zero correspond to the very top here. And that is mapped throughout all the pitches. Now, if I play again, doesn't sound like uh, very much a piano note, but that is because um, it depends on the envelope that you have associated with it. So click done and then click Synth. Now, it will ask you to save the audio model because you haven't saved it, but for now, just uh, click Skip. Of course, you can revert it also. Let's click Skip and we go back to the Synth. Now, let's go and click Def, which allows you to establish how um, the envelope for the Def, which is moving from the bottom uh, from the bottom of the audio model to the top, right? And um, let's increase the uh, strength here, which means that it will go through the entire uh, wavetable, like so. Now, 
at the very top, you will have practically uh, a value of, uh, uh, at, the, uh, at the bot, you will have the end of that uh, uh, weight table. So in that case, we're going to move up this uh, uh, point here, and we are also going to move up this curve to make it zero. So the reason, uh, so it will be at the end of that uh, weight table. Remember, at the bottom is the beginning, and then the top is the end for the depth inside the audio model. Now, here you have attack, decay, loop, and release. You don't have sustain. So what you want to do now is to increase the attack time for, uh, um, yeah, for the death. And now let's play. It started to sound a little bit more like a piano, right? Right. First of all, you keep hearing sound when it is looping, which is not great. So let's go to the gain in terms of amplitude. And what we are going to do is we are going to take this point here and we're going to drag it down. And we're going to drag down also the loop and the release curves. In this case, it's going up as amplitude, it's coming down when it approaches the loop to zero and then you don't hear anything anymore. Now it's too quick, so we need to increase the time in here for the attack as well. Okay, the other thing as well, the way it's moving up is too slow, so it start to, it sounds a little bit like a string. Right? In that case, what you can do, this selection here is to drag. The second one is to add points, so you select it and then add a point there, and then you click again on select. Move this point up here, like so, and we move the curvature up. A little bit better, and of course you can change the curvature like that, or the opposite as well. Remember, if you do down like this, it sounds more like a string. Again, you can increase a little bit more the attack. Right, but remember, it may sound not any more like a piano. So I suggest you do something like this. Okay, and if it's too much, adjust it. And maybe adjust it a little bit more. And then, of course, you can increase also the uh, timing again on the def. Now, that sounds almost like a piano. It's not exactly it. First of all, we I have only recorded um, one sample for one note. And, of course, I don't have the same envelope for amplitude. And because I'm also moving across the weight table, uh, which has spread around the entire... Um, pitch of the audio model, it, it doesn't really match the original uh, piano uh, sample or, or instrument from where I sampled from. So, but that's good enough to give you an introduction of what you can do with the audio model. Now, let's go back to the editor again, and let's click import again, and then select not to save. It's asking you to save the audio model, but don't worry about it. Then let's select the red strike note. Now, instead of selecting New Manual, let's select Merge Manual and click OK. Now, you have the same screen, but this is, but the difference this time is that you're going to merge, which is quite interesting. So let's select um, this part here. And then what we could do, for example, is to say Send to Pitch Zone. And it will have done that. So let's try now. And over here, you can hear still the piano. But here you have the merged two together, right? So let me show, let's click and do, let me show you what happens if we take a smaller part. Oops, click again to the select. And we repeat the same um, center pitch zone, like so. So you start to create a different sounds, right? Really, really interesting. Now let's drag and drop again, but up here. And I have covered this area here as well. I wanted to show you something. You can see in the middle, you have morphing between the different uh, uh, weight tables based on the pitch as well. Here is one. You hear only the notes. As I move to the right, they start to morph into the um, these, uh, um, the, the, the last sample that I imported. Of 
course, what I can also do is drag and drop this one here. Now, what will happen is that he has merged the two. So, sorry, he has put one after the other. So if you click on it, you will see the two together. So here, first the piano note and then the red strike note. Now, if I want to remove that piano note, click and hold like so. Click and hold like so. Then go to Wait Table and select Delete. Repeat. And then Wait Table, Delete. And that is almost, almost perfect. If you want to, you can select the last sample and then click Delete as well. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Click down, then click back to the synth, say skip again, because I don't want to save, but you can, of course, save the audio model. Let's uh, enable reverb and let's add a bit. And now you have a very nice different uh, sound. Of course, you can import more than one audio samples and you can create very sophisticated uh, um, presets. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the audio model inside Tomophone. And as always, see you next time. Bye.